Welcome back. We will now conclude on what causes the collapse of this bridge. Pati ang forma ng kumpanya na nagmamayari ng truck, sinigundahan ang pahayag ng driver. Imposibleng 100 tons ang bigat ng truck, pati na ang mga karga nitong bato. At bilang patunay, tinimbang nila ang anila kaparehong truck na nadisgrasya sa tulay. Ang lumabas na timbang nito, 19 tons lang. At ang karga nitong bato, 41 tons. O suma total, 61 tons. Lagpas sa maximum capacity ng Kabagan Santa Maria Bridge. Pero malayo naman sa estimate ng DPWH na 100 tons. Pero habang binabaybay daw nila ang tulay, si Leonard may napansin. Yung pakiramdam parang lumidol. So, tumunog dun sa likod, parang naputol na bakal. So, the experience account of the truck crew confirms our initial observation that the collapse started at mid-span or just after mid-span of the bridge. Earthquake-like shaking and steel snapping sound are the hard evidence the truck did not even reach the end of the span. We will now do the 3D model analysis of one bridge span. Here we have the main framing, the arch and vertical tensile rods, the bridge deck girders and beam. Here we have the main framing and the deck with concrete slab. The 61 ton gross truck weight are applied as will load on the deck as shown. Let's run the analysis. We 
found high stresses. The deck is overloaded. Now we will simulate the loss of connection on one of the vertical tension rod meaning the bolt or weld connection snapped. We run again the analysis. After the tendon rod connection to steel framing snapped or broken at the mid-span, the frame breaks as well, and the bridge deck totally collapse. So why did this span collapse while the others did not? There are reasons like weak links example. The bolt or welds here may have been corroded, have material flaws, poor workmanship, etc. We will let the forensic investigators determine that. We will now conclude this quick study and review of the cause of collapse of this bridge overloaded with two trucks weighing 60 tons passing on it. The first truck made the steel and connection overreach the reserve strength and the next truck gave the final blow. Now, is the bridge really designed for light loading only? Designer says it can only carry two 27-ton trucks how about other load like SUVs, cars, buses, that traverse, together with trucks on any span? Let the designer answer that. We have nevertheless made our own study, and the results are not that pleasant at all. Thank you very much for having us. God bless.